Welcome back. We are here with psychic medium John Edward and Cheryl Ladd, and I love John said this is so surreal. I'm sitting here, I love Charlie's, Charlie's Angels, and I grew up with Donnie and Marie. I was, we played a little bit country rock and roll, and then we'd go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Lisa and I, we, that, that was like a little sketch. She's going to kill me now, I said that. But. <laughs> John, why don't you go ahead and jump into uh, what you're going to do with Cheryl. Okay, and like... Do you need to set it up or do we need to say what we're doing? Just in or? general, whenever I do this, what I do is I open myself to whatever I'm going to be able to receive, very similar to what a radio would do. A radio, you put the tuner on and then whatever station we tune in. Right. Um, and sometimes some, stu some songs come in clearer than others. And when I'm in an, an area like this, where there's a lot of people, sometimes the song will be from some other direction which is what's happening. Okay. Um, so everybody, be, don't think anything. I'm going to be pulled up. It doesn't work Don't think way. of a pink elephant. Okay, um, go ahead. I'm actually being pulled up into, into that area over there um, in the second row. Over. Lady in the two blues over there. Um, I have the lady with the glasses and the blue shirt on. Yeah. That's where I'm being pulled. Into that area. There's something in that area that I want me to talk about. Can I just stand up and go over yeah. there? Yeah. Just go, go, okay. for, it. go for it. Go for it. Um, they're making me feel like I have to come here. I have somebody who's coming through. They're telling me to acknowledge that there's a C or a K sounding name, which to me would either be Karen, Catherine, Kathy. There's a C or K connection that comes up. They're telling me to acknowledge a male figure to the side who has crossed over. That to me would be like husband, brother, cousin, or friend. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Was this like a husband or brother to you? Husband. Okay. Is his mom also passed? He's, yes. Okay. He's telling me he's met up with his mom and that they're now together. He's making me feel like this is a joyful reunion. He's telling me to talk to you about December, that the 12th month has a meaning, whether it be birthday or anniversary, but there's some type of turning point that happens within the family. He's also telling me that many, many years ago, there was a younger female who crossed over connected to him, and that to me would either be his sister or some type of connection to somebody to his side. Who, who has the Jim in that family or the James? Because he's telling me it sounds like Jim or James. To me, it's going to be more like Jamie or James. That's what he's coming across with. Who, is he the one with the cancer? Okay, he had this twice? No, just one. He's telling me twice. He had it either in two separate parts or there's two separate areas that he had to deal with because yes. he's telling me twice. Yes. Okay, he's making me feel like either you just threw out his socks or you just did something with his shoes and socks. You understand this? Because this is his way of coming through to say, I'm around, I'm there, okay? Now, I don't know if he's trying to tell me that you're going to Italy. He came from Italy, but he's literally showing me Italy. There's some type of Italy connection, and he's laughing about this. There's a humorous thing that comes up with Italy. He's showing me the gondolas. He's got the whole thing going. Is there like a funny joke here? I told him that he was going to meet my mom, and she was from Italy. Okay, because he's making me make a big deal about Italy. Who has the... He's telling me to tell you James. He's acknowledging James. So that's His grandson? Be, oh, living? Yes. Okay, he's acknowledging James. Was James born right after he passed? No. Okay, he's making me feel that there's a distance between him or that he did not get an opportunity to get to know James because I don't really feel like I have a connection there. Okay? There was an estrangement. Because he, he's showing me that this is, this is the case. And there's a step relationship from some sort, okay? Because I feel like there's another person that comes in that's not biologically related, okay? I had to just say that. Thank you. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try. <laughs> now that we have the channels open here. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to, I am feel like I'm being pulled here, but you guys count also, so I don't know if this is going to be a few way. I'm going to need you to, to, to pay attention. Absolutely. What's coming through, there's an older female. To me, I feel like I'm on mom's side of the family. That to me would be either aunt or grandmother who has crossed over. They tell me to talk about some type of connection to either Minnesota or some place that would be closer to the Great Lake area. Something in this area that they want me to come up with. Is your biological grandmother on your mom's side passed over? Yes. Okay. What's the connection to that area? Um, well... South Dakota, that okay. area of okay. the Midwest. Is there some type of tie-in that you have incorporated some type of artwork from that area to where you live now? Yes. Okay, because she's telling me to acknowledge that. She's acknowledging either William or Walter. There's a W sounding name that she wants me to come up with. And usually when they give me names or initials, it's either who they are, who they're with, or please say hello to. And she's asking you about your book. Now, I know you do acting, but she's telling me to congratulate you on your book, that there's some type of book that's coming. And this is not a novel. This is a coffee table book. It's a big book from what she's wow. acknowledging. Do you understand this? Yeah, it's just in my mind right now, and okay. I've spoken about it to a couple of people, yes. She's telling me that there's two of them, not one, and that you should do both. Okay, it should be like a both thing from what she's acknowledging. And she's making me feel like I need to acknowledge either Jack or some type of Jake, some type of Jacob or Jack. I hear the J-A, and I'm getting a K sound that comes up with this. J-A is Jordan, my daughter, maybe? No, 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 no. This a is a Jack. male. It would be like Jackie, Jack, Jake. It's coming up in connection with her. They're also telling me to talk about somebody, and this is going to sound really, really strange, but I'm just going to put this out there. Okay. She's making a reference to the Titanic. So I don't know if you guys have any, like, history that goes back to that, or if there's any type of connection. Somebody capsizing in a boat, but in a big way. 
but there's some type of boat issue that they're coming up with. And if they show me the Titanic, I always interpret it as the boat that sinks. Yeah. So there's some type of connection to that. That's what she's, she's showing me. But this is the woman that's coming through that comes up around you. Wow. Does that make any How sense to you as far as the boat? The boat didn't make, I, I'm not, the book definitely. The book most definitely, which is eerie because it's, it's just in the very beginning stages. But it's not a novel. A John, no, what, what do you do when, when something doesn't make sense to the recipient? I make sure that they pay attention to what I'm saying, not to what mm -hmm. they want to hear, and that I get them to write it down and pay attention to it. And I always tell so people... So you should remember that. And absolutely. I should remember something about it. See, the thing is, is I'm seeing this stuff in my frame of reference. So to me, what the Titanic means is a boat that sinks. However, there's, if there's some other type of Titanic reference to her that I don't know... I don't like that term, sinking boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. More, but, but if, here's, the, here's the deal. If somebody had passed that way and they were on that, that's the way, that's a big calling card. I don't know, maybe she's you trying do to... genealogy? Work? Trying to say one of, one of her relatives was on the Titanic. I don't know that. Well, there might be somebody in the family no, that you... Oh, I should it. check it out. There's the E also that she tells me to acknowledge around you, the person with the E name. And you said Walter, which was her father's name. Okay, so that's their, that's that's their way of connect, connecting up. Well, Cheryl, thank you so much. What, you, what I you. think you should do is go rent Titanic while you write your book. <laughs> so, Cheryl, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. John, I'm going to have you stay because we have a family that we want to want you to stay. talk about. When we come back, a family asks John to help them find closure in a very tragic death of their son when we return. Stay with us. Is that, is that Next, a grieving family asks John Edward for answers. Monday on Donnie and Marie, the center square herself, Whoopi Goldberg.